What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Dre, again, and I'm back with another video. Uh, before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. Uh, so basically what we got here is we're going to do some starter wicks. Uh, basically, his hair is probably somewhere between four to six inches, somewhere like that. Um, so I told y'all first, like, the first thing I do is I section the hair, part the hair, section it all, put my rubber bands on it so I can be able to just go from one to another and wick it up without the hair getting in my way. So I'm putting my rubber bands on this hair so I can um, keep it out my way. As y'all know, I turn them around, make sure that's how he, that's how many he want, how big he want it. And if he agree with that, then it's go time. He say, yeah, so it's time to wick it up. So I comb it out like this. Just comb it out, kind of fluff it out a little bit. And then get my needle. And with this, being that a lot of people ask how to do this, being that these are very short, you have to, you don't, you don't, you can't grip it like you really want to. So you kind of got to like hold your hand. You see how I'm holding my hand on it? You got to kind of barely hold your hand on it lightly, not hard, not too hard. And just kind of hit the, the top of it instead of like go um, focusing on the roots because you basically trying to lock in the the tip of it so that you know it grows and then it you know as as it get longer then you can go down the wick but starting off you just kind of play with the top to get the top to close in a lot so you know to mold in so that way as time go on the new growth grow then it'll it'll fill out so you see me with my hand like I'm be barely moving it like I'm barely holding it all the way I'm sorry and um I'm just kind of hold trying to hold it like with the tips of my hand and trying to get it to come together and I don't you know try to make I don't like to make them like skinny so I make them fat so they could be thick wits cuz if you make the tips of it skinny and then the roots are, are thick, then that separates the wick from the root later on in the future. So I just make it like a little bump, big old, you know, a little big old bump, not no, um, not just get the end tips of it and just make that lock in. I kind of push it down. You see me pat it right there. Like I kind of, you know, cause basically you molding it with your hand. See how I'm, I'm holding this? I'm just holding it like with the tip of my hand, but lightly, like barely holding it and just trying to grab as much as hair as I can at the tips of it to get it to, to come in and mat in. So, cause if I mat it in like that, it's going to stay put. And basically if you, you keep it like his first touch up, I, I told him he should at least come by three months and by three months by me, you know, holding and matting it in like that, it's going to grow and then by that time I have more of the hole and then it'll it'll get, you know, a little longer. You'll see it a little longer. So you just basically focus on the tips of it, not the roots. Uh I do try to pull in on the roots a little bit just to to make it come in, but like I really focus on the tips. You see me just hitting the tips, but I be patting it and I be holding it like with my you know, the tip of my finger, I don't be trying to hold it with my whole one because it, it's not, you can't really grip it like that. So I hope y'all understand it and I'm going to let y'all watch the video. Uh, make sure y'all watch it all the way to the end because you'll see uh, when I get on certain sides, you'll be able to see better of how I'm doing it, how the needle going in and out and how the tips of it go. So this how you do your starter wick. So it's a lot of people was asking me how to do it on four inches. You just basically focus on the tips and hold it with the tip of your hand as you're doing it. But make it fat. Don't do them skinny because if you do them skinny, then they turn out skinny and you ain't going to like them. You do it, you know, you, you part it a little thick and then you, you know, like kind of mat it down, not try to make it already stand up. You ain't got nothing to stand up on. So... It's basically to try to do them like this, and then as they grow, 
you'll see the uh, transformation from there. And I'm going to keep y'all updated with his. Um, since he going to lock in with me, I'm going to keep y'all updated on how his grow. But y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for more videos. Uh, uh, I'm going to let y'all finish this rest of the video. And I appreciate y'all for watching. Peace.